What's going on, FA Nation? Jonathan Pemba here with your NFL DFS Contrarian Corner here for Week 12. Let's kick it off here at the quarterback position. We're going to go with Kyler Murray uh, here against the Los Angeles Chargers with Murray who's get, potentially getting Hollywood Brown back this week. We know he has DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, and this is a Chargers defense that really hasn't looked that impressive. Uh, also, Kyler Murray, despite his inconsistencies this season, uh, he's been a guy that ultimately, at the end of the day, he's giving you over 20 fantasy points a week. So, uh, though his production hasn't been as consistent as some of the other top price quarterbacks here, a lot of people are going to be going with Justin Herbert this week. Uh, we can go ahead, the opposite side of that matchup, get some low roster ship here, uh, and see him easily pay off his price tag. At the running back position, let's go with Isaiah Pacheco. I know a lot of people are going to be looking at the other value running backs with Jeff Wilson and Rashad White this week. Uh, but Pacheco is the lead guy now in Kansas City. CEH is on IR. We've seen double-digit carries now for Pacheco back-to-back -back weeks. He had over 100 yards rushing uh, of late as well. He hasn't scored yet. But that could certainly change this week. How invested are the Rams defensive players right now? Knowing that their season's pretty much down the tubes here. Uh, this could be a big spot here for Kansas City to run up the score. And see Pacheco finally score that touchdown. And put him over the top at a really nice price tag. At the wide receiver position, I'm just going to continue to dive head first here on Kendall Hinton. Talked a lot about it on the DFS podcast with Howard Bender. Him and I went back and forth on it. Uh, low roster ship here expected once again, and for good reason. Not many people want exposure to the Denver Broncos offense. But at $3,700 on DraftKings, he's a spend down that's going to allow you to spend up at other positions. Listen, there's plenty of value at the running back position this week. Uh, but getting this cheap wide receiver in your lineup will allow you to spend up at tight end. Maybe Travis Kelsey, spend up at quarterback, spend up at wide receiver here as well. Uh, I'm just a big fan of Kendall Hinton, just recent production, playing over 90% of the offensive snaps with Judy and Hamler out of the lineup. He's a dart throw play, but he's low roster, and you're looking for that value on the slate. I think he could pay it off. He nearly scored last week. He had to go to review. He unfortunately just stepped out before going over the pile on there, so the touchdown didn't go his way, but it's not to say that he didn't have the opportunity to score. Let's see if he gets in the end zone this week uh, for the Denver Broncos. We'll finish it off at the tight end position. Gerald Everett, surprising roster ship here considering the matchup. The Arizona Cardinals are allowing the most fantasy points to the tight end position. Gerald Everett's expected to be back in the lineup this week. Sure, last week Josh Palmer had the big week. We know Keenan Allen is back as well. So that offense is certainly getting healthier. But no Mike Williams this week. Uh, we're expecting a high game total again between the Chargers and the Cardinals this week. Why not take the dart throw here with, with Gerald Everett, who's going to honestly be this cheap. A lot of people are going to be spending up for Travis Kelsey. I have lineups this week at both Kelsey and Everett in them, so I have no problem double tight ending if it's giving me the opportunity to do so. I think Everett's in a smash spot this week against the Arizona Cardinals. That wraps up the contrarian corner for week 12, everybody. Good luck. Let's go make some money.